You know, surveys indicate that the number one most feared part of the selling process is that part involved in the negotiations and the final close. You know, that close is that point in every transaction when it becomes the time to ask someone to take some sort of action. Hey, let's do this. Sign here. Let's roll. When do you want it? Okay? That's when you're asking somebody to do something. This make break point is when people shake. The salesperson, oh my gosh, I'm scared to death. They quiver. They get their tongue tied, sweaty palms. They can't think clearly. They don't know what to say and they act like a deer caught in headlamps or headlights. And their heart starts to race and they start freaking out. You know why they're doing that? Because they don't know what they're doing. These wild reactions. In that moment, the salesperson starts to doubt themselves, their mission and the buyer, of course, is going to pick it up. Hey, man, the guy's scared to death. He doesn't know what he's doing. Is he believable? No, he's not. They get lost. The customer gets lost in your own negative responses. These negative responses that you're experiencing are only symptoms of not fully understanding how to close an agreement and you not being fully prepared how to deliver the service of the close. Yes, the service of the close. Yes, I said service. Closing is a service. It should be taught as a service. It's not, I'm going to close a deal, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap them up, you know. No, no, it's a service. It's more than just wrapping them up. Yes, you're going to do that, but it's a service whereby you're aiding someone, helping someone in making a decision. See, it's vital that you learn to handle this area to the point where you no longer have these, you know, physical reactions and fear and you're overwhelmed and your palms are sweating and your eyes are freaking dilating and you're tripping out because you're scared because you don't know what you're doing. You want to completely rehearse these, prepare to deliver the service of closing the deal, not just the service of whatever your product or service is, but the service of closing. See, why would this step of the sale by itself, the one which most determines your income, be the one thing that you fear the most? This most revered, most uncomfortable, most misunderstood single step is the only step that rewards you and people fear it. How is it you could enjoy meeting someone? You love your product. You enjoy demonstrating your product. You like talking about your company and then all of a sudden you freak out and like you abhor closing. You hate it. What's happening? See, when a completely confident person who knows his product to be completely superior, his service is superior to anyone else, will not even ask someone to actually buy the product what is out? Something's got to be out. See, there are many reasons that contribute to this, and I will discuss a few here. Okay, First, misinformed, outdated approaches. Salespeople have been told for years okay, about selling, some true, some not, and some just plain outdated. The truth is everything, everything in life changes. Every industry changes, including sales, including how you communicate, persuade, would negotiate, and certainly how you would close someone. One would not expect the same techniques used 30 years ago to have the same effectiveness today. Okay, number two, and we're talking about why people would freak out right here, why they wouldn't get results here. Two, selling is simple. They're told, you're told when you're hired, it's simple, man. You know, you were probably told things like, it's a simple business. You just got to wait on a lot of people. You know, you may, may have been told that selling is about getting people to like you. Okay, good. You got people that like you don't know, buy from you every day. Maybe it was pounded into you that selling is about selling the product and identifying hot buttons and satisfying needs. You might have been told that selling is purely about relationships and building trust, a numbers game. Look, selling, understand this, is ultimately about closing the deal. Yes, you need a relationship. Yes, you need people happy. Yes, they must know your product. But selling, ultimately, when the truth is known, is about closing the deal. The third reason, maybe it was suggested to you or not, Possibly, that to be pushy, offensive, uh, or, you know, to pressure people is a terrible thing. Look, folks, if you don't, aren't willing to push somebody through that part where they're resisting, you're never going to make it in this business. The truth is, you're not going to make it in any business. You have to push through in order to get people to make decisions. And number four, you might have been told, rejection. Oh, man, rejection is so hard. You don't want to ask for the clothes because then you're going to get the rejection. Look, you're going to hate planet Earth if you don't like rejection, okay? Nobody likes it. Get used to it. It's going to happen to you. Selling has changed, okay? Selling is simple. You will have to push, and you will have to experience rejection. And fifth, the reason people don't close, okay, 
And we'll go into a lot more reasons later on. You don't have the, art, the arsenal. You don't have a full metal jacket arsenal of many, many different closes necessary to wrap the deal up. So what is happening when a completely confident person who knows his product and service to be superior, knows the company offers superior uh, service, will not even ask the client to buy the product? What happens? Why is that? The first thing, the first reason I believe this to be is you do not see closing the deal as an actual service. And that's what I want you to get in this segment. There are many, many reasons people do not close and don't attempt to close. Okay, And we will discuss those in later segments. But the first to address okay, is the close is a service.